Okay, so uh, this is the horn from the uh, Winnebago Revel, the Mercedes Sprinter. It is pathetic. Let you lit hear it here. It's pretty weak for a almost four-ton vehicle. So I decided to upgrade mine. Uh, Agile Off-Road has a great kit. Pretty much plug and play. Comes with a bracket, the two horns. Comes with the wiring harness. Great instructions. All the mounting hardware. It's going to take you about 15-20 minutes to knock this out. It's it's an easy little upgrade. So there's some Torx fasteners. There's three of them at the top of the grill. You just need to take those out. Some people recommend you rip the whole grill out. But the fasteners are really kind of quirky. So I only did the top right and top left. I just pulled the grill out about, probably about four or five inches. And it gave me enough access to get in there and, and do what I needed to do. I, frankly, I was afraid I was going to break the bottom brackets or the snap-in fittings. So you get that opened up. you got enough space now. You can uh, get in there. Go ahead and assemble your horns. Uh, a couple half-inch wrenches. Uh, we'll, we'll get those put together. Basically some bolts, washers, nuts, uh, lock nuts. You, you get those hooked up. You hook up the uh, wiring to it. That whole assembly now gets dropped in. There's a vertical stabilizer that you have to remove two more Torx bolts and just loosen that up so you can uh, slip this behind it. Sorry, the GoPro is on my head and it's probably not giving you the best view, but it's very, it's very simple. Um, get that in there, get it fitted behind the, uh, the bracket, and then put your Torx fasteners back in. That whole assembly is going to just get, I mean, it's, it's, very clean install. Um, at this point, I decided to go ahead and just remove the old horn, and I think that's a 10 millimeter. Just pop that off. You're going to cut the wires about you know, maybe half inch from where it connects to the horn so that you can tie it into the new uh, harness. Yeah, that horn is a joke. I mean, it, it's kind of sad. So, since I didn't pull the whole grill out, what I did is I just fed the wires through the grill from the, the original Mercedes wiring, pull the insulation off of those, pull the new wiring harness for the new horns, get those set up. Comes with the connectors that you're gonna wanna go ahead and put both wires through and read your instructions. It tells you which, you know, black to brown or, or blue to red, I forget, but crimp those down, get them, get them good and tight. Again, this is a very easy little project, and it's, I'm telling you, it's worth it. I went ahead and just took some electrical tape and sealed that whole assembly just to keep water out of it. And then you push that whole, that whole uh, wiring loom back through the grill, pull it tight, get it away from any of the radiators, coolers, zip tie it. You can drill holes if you need to to zip tie it so it's it's separated, but I, I was able to figure a way to do it without doing that. Um, again, it's hard to see, but uh, what you don't want is those wiring looms sitting against any metal parts. And uh, yeah, you use the remote. And then this is weird. Okay, turn the on button on. Hit the horn, and the, and the, the rig starts up. I, I have no idea if that's the way it's supposed to be, but, you know, it's Mercedes. Put your fasteners back in, and enjoy your new horn. That's how it should sound. Thanks for watching.